Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to import the bank statements in Tally Prime in 2024. So today, we'll dive into the process of importing bank statements into the Tally Prime, streamlining your accounting workflows and ensuring accurate financial records. So stick around as I guide you through the step-by-step -step process of importing bank statements in Tally Prime in 2024. So start or follow the steps-by-steps -steps guide and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and log in into your bank online banking portal and download the bank statement you wish to import. Of course, you can just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps. Uh, go to the URL section, go and type your banking website, log in into it, and simply download the bank statement you wish to import. Most banks offer options to download statements in various formats, such as CSV, Excel, or PDF. Choose the format compatible with Tally Prime, such as CSV. And if you don't have Tally Prime already in your PC, you can simply go to the URL section, type Tally Prime, and hit the enter button. Make sure to click on this download. Of course, if you have a license, that will be good. If not, just go and click on buy now. Select just the Tally Prime and make sure to select silver or gold, silver for individual PC and gold for multiple ones. So just go and buy your uh, license, then click on download. Make sure to download the Tally Prime and as example, download it and follow the steps of downloading it into your PC. Just follow the instructions there. And once it's downloaded and installed, you will have to go and open it up in your PC. Make sure to activate then the license. Of course, once you buy your license, you will be provided by a code. This code, you will have to enter it out. And here, click on activate a new license or use a license from network or even reactivate an existing license, depending on whatever you want from you. will just go and continue in educational mode. If you have a company, just go and access that. But if you don't, you will have to go and enter or create a new company by clicking here, click on create and create all the company information as you can see. So you'll have to enter your company name, mailing name, address, state, country, pin code, telephone, mobile, fax, email, and website, base, current symbol, and the format name, and you will be good to go. Once you create your company, now you can of course go and even import that. Of course, once you open like, first of all, like the, once you have it, or once you download the bank statement, you can open downloaded bank statement file and spreadsheet program like Excel, first of all. So you can go and open like Excel and make sure to open the spreadsheets in there or even Google Sheets, you can do that through Google Sheets. So for you, and just go and open it in here as an example, let's say that we have it in here. So as an example, just go, so here, just go and open it in here. And of course, ensure that the data is formatted correctly with the columns representing transactions, such as the date, description, amount, and transaction type, and make sure to save the file in CSV format if it's not already. Of course, you can simply just hit the control S in your uh, PC as an example, and fill up those informations, then click on control S and simply save it as CSV file. Once you do so, you will have now to navigate, of course, to banking model and Tally Prime. You can open Tally Prime and navigate to the banking model. Of course, you can always use this go to and type banking. So, banking utilities and make sure to go. As you can see, uh, we have a lot of things to do, but what we want simply, let's simply import it. As we said, we'll have to import the CSV file uh, or the import the bank statement. Of course, uh, for me, I don't have a lot of options, like all options, because I'm just on educational uh, license. For you, you'll be able, uh, or you'll have access to all the options if you have your license. So uh, you'll be able to do a lot of other stuff. But normally, what you'll need to do is simply go and click on import. And here, you can import some bank details. For example, file to import Excel. So you basically have to choose all the file path, as an example to import it from Excel. So until the file path, how you can simply go to your file explorer as an example. Let's say that the file is this one. So simply, oh, I don't have to open that. So as an example, where you will find it here, make sure to go and click on copy, enter that uh, thing in here as an example, and you will be good to go. Once you do so, you will have to click on enter. As an example, you can even select from drive if you want to. 
let's say I have it in download so I can go here down to downloads and simply choose the one let's say I don't know let's say this one and as you can see you can specify the path or whatever you want and give it a name or whatever you want I'll just go and give it a test so there is no folder called uh, uh, like uh, that so of course file to import excel you can simply just go and choose whatever suits you I don't know just choose this one maybe as an example and simply once you do so the file will be imported for me this is like uh, not a csv file this mp4 that's why it's slugged a bit but it's fine so basically you'll have to select the file and map in you can choose the csv file containing your bank statement that you have formatted earlier and yeah so you'll be basically then good to go and Tally Prime, of course, will even prompt you uh, to the map columns and CSV file to the corresponding fields and Tally Prime, such as data, description, amount, etc. And of course, ensure that uh, accurate mapping for seamless imports also. And Tally Prime will display a preview of the imported bank statement. You can review these transactions as an example. Uh, for accurate stuff, uh, to carefully, of course, to ensure accuracy. If everything looks correct, confirm the import process. And after importing the back statement, Tally Prime will automatically uh, reconcile this transaction with your existing account based on the mapping. We can review uh, the cancelled transaction and make any necessary adjustments or corrections to it. And yeah, basically, after that, once you're satisfied with everything with the cancellation, uh, you can save the imported uh, bank statement in Tally Prime, and this ensures that the transactions are recorded accurately in your accounting uh, records. You can always go to reports or records and check if it's always in there. If it is, yeah, like good, you are good to go. So there you have it. You successfully learned how to import bank statements into Tally Prime in 2024, simplifying, of course, your accounting processes and ensuring accurate financial records. So if you have any question or questions or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. Of course, if you like this video also, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more hell for stories like this one. And don't hesitate to even to explore Tally Prime support resources to reach out to their customer support team. So happy accounting. Thank you for watching and goodbye.